Nessar Patel. I think the message is pretty clear tonight. Um, what what we're celebrating and uh, uh, having all this excitement about is uh, you know, the dedication that that you all have is is very uh, uh, thrilling for for us on our end to to experience. And and where does that come from? I think that comes from a, a calling into medicine. Uh, more than a, a career, what you've embarked on is a, a lifetime devotion to uh, that can uh, will be very exciting for for you. And uh, it doesn't start next week. It doesn't start when you're a sixth semester. 
really doesn't start when you get your degree. It starts tonight. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of great things that you can do as a medical student. Sometimes the best thing you can do is study. Uh, sometimes uh, the best thing you can do is uh, uh, invent the Seldinger technique, which a medical student invented, and uh, now it's used all the time, every day in hospitals, uh, 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 putting the catheter over a, a needle. So in any event, uh, we're very uh, excited and best wishes on your many years ahead. I hope that you stay together as a group and that five, ten years down the road when you're in, in a small town or a big town or whatever, you go, you know, I want to go see that doctor because that's an IAU grad. Okay? I, I recommend my friend go see, uh, go see this, this buddy of mine because I know they got well trained and I know they're dedicated and I know they're going to take care of you right. Anyway, congratulations. Now I would like to call Dr. B.J. Kumar Narayan to read the heavy Oath. Thank you, Andy. It's my pleasure on this wonderful evening to administer the oath. On the 17th White Coat Ceremony, I request all of you to kindly stand and please repeat that again, all of you. I would first read a para of it. After that, please repeat that para. There is a copy in your hands. <clears throat> I publicly acknowledge and accept the privileges and responsibilities given to me as a physician in training and dedicate myself to provide care to those who need. I publicly acknowledge and accept the privileges and responsibilities given to me as a physician in training and dedicate myself to provide care to those who need me. I approach all aspects of my education with honesty and integrity, embrace opportunities to learn from the patients, teachers and colleagues. I approach all aspects of my education with honesty and integrity, embrace opportunities to learn from the patients, teachers and colleagues. I will always maintain the highest standards of professional conduct. I will always maintain the highest standards of professional conduct. I will certify only that which I have personally verified and I will never receive nor give unauthorized assistance on examinations. I will certify only that which I have personally verified, and I will never receive nor give unauthorized assistance on examinations. I will value the knowledge and wisdom of the physicians who have preceded me. I will value the knowledge I will recognize my weakness and strengths and strive to develop those qualities that will earn the respect of my parents, my colleagues, my family and myself. I will recognize my weaknesses and strengths and strive to develop those qualities that will earn the respect of my parents, my colleagues, my family and myself. I will respect the humanity, rights and decisions of all patients and attend to them with compassion and without bias. I will respect the humanity, rights and decisions of all patients and attend to them with compassion and without bias. I will maintain patient confidentiality and be tactful in my words and actions. 
I will maintain patient confidentiality and be tactful on my words and actions. I will value the diversity of the patient's experiences, cultures and beliefs because it enhances my ability to care for them and enrich my education. I will value the diversity of my patient's experiences, cultures and beliefs because it enhances my ability to care for them and enrich my education. I will not forget that there is an art to medicine as well as service, as well as, sorry, as well as science and the warmth, sympathy and understanding are integral to patient care. I will not forget that there is an art to medicine as well as science and the warmth, sympathy and understanding are integral to patient care. I will strive to earn the trust of my patients placed in me and the respect that the society places upon my profession. I will strive to earn the trust of my patients placed in me and the respect that society places upon my profession. I will recognize the privileges afforded to me as a physician in training and promise not to abuse them. I will recognize the privileges afforded to me as a physician in training and promise not to abuse them. Even as a student, I have responsibility to improve the standard of health in my community, to increase the access to care to the underserved, and to advance medical knowledge. As I accept these new responsibilities, I will not forget the importance of my own health and well-being. Even as a student, I have responsibilities to improve the standard of health in my community, to increase access to care to the underserved, and to advance medical knowledge. As I accept these new responsibilities, I will not forget the importance of my own health and well-being. I will continue to value my relations with those who have supported me in the past and those who will share my future. I will continue to value my relations with those who have supported me in the past and those who will share my future. Knowing my own limitations and those of medicine, I commit myself to a lifelong journey of learning how to cure, relieve and comfort with humility and compassion. Knowing my own limitations and those of medicine, I commit myself to a lifelong journey of learning how to cure, relieve and comfort with humility and compassion. I make these promises solemnly, freely and upon my honour. I make these promises solemnly, freely and upon my honour. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Dr. Gail Rigobert carries extensive academic skills and practical experiences in the area of international relations and government. She holds a PhD in international relations from the University of the West Indies, a Master's of Philosophy in International Relations from the University of Cambridge, a postgraduate diploma in international relations, and a Bachelor of Science in Government. Dr. Gail Rigobert has conducted research in a number of areas relevant to national development. This includes publication work on a technology and development. Her recent publication includes Bridging and Digital Divide on pr Prospect of Caribbean Development and New Techno-Economic Paradigm. Dr. Gail Rigobert was recently sworn into the upper chamber of the Parliament of St. Lucia. Part of her senator.